Hey, what's going on guys? Eddie Martinez here with Recording Radio and Film Connection. And today, of course, we're going to be learning more about SoundCloud, how to sign up, how to navigate. So let's go to the page and uh, start up a, an account. So we're going to go to the top right, hit the sign up button. Immediately, it actually lets you uh, sign up with Facebook, uh, Facebook, pardon me. And this is something I definitely recommend uh, because once you actually start uploading music and sharing things, uh, you're going to be able to share with your Facebook friends as well. So uh, you're casting a bigger net. I definitely recommend that you do that. Uh, so I'm just punching in a password. I'm not going to actually agree to uh, sign up with Facebook or to get the email updates or anything like that through SoundCloud because this is kind of like a dummy account and I'm doing it for this tutorial purpose. Uh, immediately what you're faced with is a username and a, actually a username that uh, SoundCloud automates for you. I definitely recommend that you make your own and of course uh, make it to the likeness of all your other accounts that you've previously made. Now right here, uh, this is kind of like the startup page. It recommends that you begin following other artists and you could do this by genre or by any other type of um, audio, you know, options that, that are there like audiobooks, comedy ideas, things like that. But I definitely recommend that you just stick with music for right now. Um, all the other stuff is more for like a different type of leisurely stuff. So um, right here, you can see all the people that I'm now following, which is great. And um, it also gives you an option right here to deselect any of the groups that you just uh, began following uh, on the lower right portion. So you can deselect them. Now I'm no longer following these people and I can go ahead and hit follow and start listening to move on to the next page. Now the next page is like the home page of SoundCloud. Uh, so what you're going to see are a lot of the artists that you're, you're now following. You can listen to your music. Actually, the music starts right away. And uh, right here, you, you get an option to upload, uh, you can comment, you can like, you can re, uh, repost, you can do a lot of different things right here. Um, definitely recommend that you explore a lot of these right here. Uh, you can even download some of this music, uh, and a lot of the times it's for free. So I'm going to go ahead and just mock up a little uh, comment right here. And then what ends up happening is you, uh, when you're done with your comment, you hit enter and it ends up on the little timeline right there. If you could notice, there's these little uh, photo icons as the music is scrolling along. And those are people's comments. So that would be one of yours when you post. Now let's go ahead and go back to the upload section. And you're not going to be able to upload anything until you confirm your email address. So I definitely recommend that you go to your email address as I'm going to do right now and view the email that... Uh, SoundCloud just sent you okay so I'm gonna go to my email go to my inbox and there it is so it says welcome to SoundCloud click it and essentially all you really need to do is uh, go to the section that says uh, click this link and then from there it'll send you back to your SoundCloud account and basically say that it's confirmed so it's basically confirmed that I am the person that started this profile and I'll be able to you know really start uploading music and building my profile here so right here I recommend that you have all your you know sections ready you know maybe a quick little bio um, obviously any music that you want to upload and any images that want you want to associate with those uh, uploaded music albums and you know anything like that so for right now as a placeholder I'm posting up a, a photo of myself because I didn't really have anything to prepare like I said this is just for um, tutorial purposes I'm making a small little uh, description. Of course, you want to do a lot more work on the description end of things. And of course, tags are very important because this is uh, what this is a way of people finding you. So if you know you type in EDM and you're an electronic dance music, you know, producer, they'll find you uh, a little bit easier with these tags. Uh, as for advanced settings, we're not really going to go over that too much, but if you did actually activate through your Facebook account, you, you right now you already have a chance to start sharing that music. Since I didn't, um, I'm unfortunately not going to be able to do that, uh, but if you did, you'll be able to write a message and then hit activate Facebook, and immediately once you hit save, uh, any of the music that you created on this profile, you could now share with your Facebook account even your Twitter and actually if you have a Tumblr account which we might go over in another video you'll be able to go ahead and uh, share that music there as well so it's a it's a really great option so right now I'm just creating a little message right here as you can see uh, just so that 
you know you could possibly share and you're limited to the amount of characters you could use uh, which is i think a thing about twitter uh, and that's the reason why so i'm hitting save and now we're going to look at my profile it's going to be very simple uh you're going to see some other options right there at the top maybe a little heart with a uh a little comment speaking bubble with a heart those are you know from anybody that likes your music you'll get comments there and things like that which we'll go over in a little bit uh, right now uh, I'm gonna go ahead and stop this music go back to my page that I just uh, created and we're gonna go ahead and sample uh, the song that I just that I just uploaded so this is how quick it is I've already uh, created a very small profile right now we're listening to a song uh, that I made just for this particular video, uh, something very small. And uh, yeah, we're going to be able to uh, do a lot of these same things, if not every single thing that I just did, probably within 10 minutes, as long as you have all of your elements for your profile kind of uh, on your desktop or at the ready, essentially. So right now we're listening to the song, and we're going to go to Explore, which is I think like pretty much going back to like to the home page so you can explore new music and um, some artists and things like that uh, and this is actually one of the funner things that you could do as well you, you know a lot of what SoundCloud is about is about finding new music and sharing it and sharing comments and things like that so um, I definitely recommend that you check out all this all this stuff out and right here we're looking at a page where you can you know, listen to different genres of music and uh, obviously that little uh, Wave file right there at the top right will bring you back to your profile. You can see exactly what yours, where your song's at, or if you're listening to another song, you could use that button to get back to that song. Again, uh, you have the speaking bu bubble right there with the heart on it for likes. You have your messages, and you can go back directly to your profile uh, by clicking the button that I just clicked right there. I noticed that I didn't have a picture. So I wanted to go ahead and have a picture. I definitely recommend that you build up your page as much as possible. Upload maybe two or three songs at a time, you know, or maybe, maybe at least two. Uh, you don't want to bombard people with music. Uh, but here are your options. You have a GoPro uh, setting right there. That's for some different uh, advertisement and paid options, which we're not going to go over through this uh, video. But that's pretty much it. So in our next video, we're going to cover YouTube, how to create an account, how to upload, and how to share. I'll catch you guys on the next video.